gold are coming from? I think there's a two very good reasons for the strength in gold prices at the minute. The first is an absence of selling. Early in the year, from about mid-February to early August, we saw some very significant outflows from the physically backed ETFs. Mm -hmm. 650 tonnes in total were sold from uh, those vehicles. Well, in just like almost six months? Yes, that's in almost exactly six months. That's a very significant volume uh, of selling, and that was one of the key factors depressing gold prices earlier in the year. Well, since the beginning of August, that has largely gone away. Why is that? That's a very good question. I, I, I can speculate on that one, but I, I don't know the, uh, the, the full facts behind that. We've broken through the 100 day moving average for the first time this year. Now, I know you're a fundamental analyst, but uh, do you buy into that technical strength as well? Well, the, the, the technical picture is very much sort of reflecting the, the fundamentals at the minute. Uh, it isn't simply a case of a, a lack of uh, selling, but on the, uh, the buying side, there's been very good physical demand from around the world. Pretty positive. Uh, sentiment towards gold right now? I suppose the big question is, is it sustainable? Very good question. Uh, we, we are negative on this one. Uh, we, we think that uh, the, the bounce may be coming to an end and that there's a few reasons we think why gold prices can push down again. Uh, first among these is quantitative easing. What about the emerging market turmoil that we've seen in the last uh, month or so? Um, obviously uh, India is a big, is the world's biggest buyer of gold. What's, how's that playing into the gold price? That's been very, very important in recent months. I think will continue to, to be so. Uh, across the developing world for many investors, if you are concerned about currency debasement and in countries which have large fiscal deficits, current account deficits, it's a, a real risk at the minute then owning gold is a very good way of protecting yourself from that potential currency debasement. But now that many of these developing currencies have fallen, what that does is it reduces the purchasing power of local investors. They're seeing the local prices of gold rising quite sharply. What is the main concern from, from your client base in those emerging and developing markets? Is it the Fed taper or is it the a turmoil closer to home? I, I think it's probably both. From an international perspective, what the Fed does and what US interest rates do is absolutely fundamental to gold prices. On the other hand, individual markets will be focusing very much on what's happening at home. You obviously see gold lower. Um, how much lower um, by the end of the year? We, we do expect by next year we think prices will start to stabilise and can push higher. But we, we think there is probably room for maybe one more push downwards at test of the lows around $1,200 an ounce. We would not be at all surprised to see prices south of that between now and the end of the